here is my 1985 Ross gravel bike is what I'm calling it now um, that I started working on since March and it is becoming closer to what I want um, took it out for a nice ride yesterday on the Sino Canal path and got it nice and dusty um, but I've you know initially had some riser bars on there some mountain bike type bars that I or they're more like motocross bars I took off which I didn't really suit me and uh, I've changed the tires I've gotten wider uh, 26 by 2.1 tires really wide tires for uh, more comfort and grip on gravel um, the ride's smoother a little more cushier with that really thick um, tire um, however I'm gonna have to go down a size to 1.9 inch because I'll show you I have extremely low uh, clearance with the brakes and when if I pump these up to full 40 pounds per square inch they will rub so um, not good so um, uh, the bike wasn't really designed to have tires well the brakes weren't designed the bike could take the tires the brakes weren't so uh, I'm not getting rid of the brakes because the brakes are part of this bike and a really cool factor of this bike so a little smaller tire and I'll be in business it's rideable right now but I'm not comfortable with that tight tolerance so um, one thing I want to do is raise up the stem it's not tall enough those bars are not high enough for me so I'm gonna have to change those out and I'll show you what I'm gonna do so here I have the Japanese made Nitto dirt drop stem which definitely has a lot of quill on it, which will give me the height I need. This can't go up any further. This, this quill stem adapter will just not go up any further than that. So if you compare, oh boy, I can go way up. I could probably go up like that, which is too much. Um, so I only want to come up about an inch or so, but there's an issue. This bike, borrows the early mountain bikes borrowed a lot from BMX and it uses a BMX standard which was 21.1 millimeters on the quill diameter uh, this <laughs> comes in 22.2 so I'm gonna have to take off some of this metal and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that uh, and uh, only what is that 0.55 millimeters around 22.2 minus 21.1 is um, 1.1. Divide that by two, and that's um, 0.55 millimeters that I need to shave off this, this stem to get it to fit. So um, I will make that happen, so, and I'll show you how. So according to my calculations, I need to take off point or... 0.55 millimeters, so a little more than half of a millimeter of metal. This is a piece of brash shim stock that I have, very thin. It's probably about the thickness of a uh, tin can, or maybe a little thicker than a, you know. Um, so this actually measures uh, 0.41. So I need to go a little bit thicker than this. That's how much very little I'm taking off and I think it'll come off in no time with the 40 grit sandpaper so that's how much metal I take off around the whole thing uh, right there so there we go we'll get busy so the first thing I have to do is take the stem off which is pretty easy um, I can help myself by first taking this off so I'll unloosen this I'll show you this first um, if you can see that yeah um, so I just got to get this cable out so I'm gonna <clears throat> unloosen some things here and this thing has this nifty slot where if you play your cards right here let's pull that down 
So give it more slack. It's hard to see, but if you play your cards right, you can just pull this cable straight forward like this, but uh, I don't have enough purchase in there, so I'm not going to mess with that right now. But anyway, there's a wrench. This is little quills in there, so just loosen this up, and it should come right out. Except, <laughs> tricky, tricky, I got the brake cable, get this a little loosen. <clears throat> brake cable's fighting me a little bit, because it's rather short. Man. Yeah, fighting this. I think this is stuck. Mm. Come on now. I don't want to mess it up. The headset. Here, let's let's just take it all the way out here. There we go. Now, this is where the tricks, the fun starts. So. Ah, I got some measuring to do. So I have the trusty duck, trusty micro caliper. So what I want to do is get an idea of what the diameter inside the steering tube is. And yep, 21.1 is what I just, yep, recorded. Maybe a tiny bit bigger, 21.2, something like that. 20, 20, 21, two, uh, in there. So I got to take quite a bit off. I'm going to, um, no, not quite a bit, but here's another thing I want to measure is the quill, the actual quill wedge. I want to measure the quill wedge just to see my zero out the micro caliper. So, <clears throat> Probably, yeah, it's less. It's 20, 20 inches, 20, I'm sorry, 20 millimeters, roughly, even less. 19.8, I'm not being precise, but I, get, I just need a rough idea of how wide that is. So anyway, um, I will endeavor to measure, see if I can get that other quill in there, which I seriously doubt it's even gonna fit. So let me check that out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mask off this part, the part I don't wanna get scratched. So I just have some old, some gaffer tape that I'm gonna use um, to create a line. So I'm gonna put this on pretty thick and I'm gonna Go to about right there. I didn't precisely measure this, but I have a good idea that that'll be plenty. In fact, I might go up just a tiny bit more. In fact, I'm gonna go double check it on the bike, kind of rough it in. It's about right here. Something like that, right in there. So we'll mask everything above this. a good even line all the way around it great thing, thing about this stuff is it tears really easily and then I'm gonna protect above it with some more that we don't want to sand or get abraded. So we're gonna protect this pretty well. Oh, 
on there pretty good. All right, first things first, I put on my gloves. There we go. All right, here goes. So, just gonna start braiding away. Probably more like this. Oh yeah, look at that. I, this is many days later. I spent many days um, uh, filing on this, actually. I actually used this really rough rasp on this thing. Like, horrible, you would think, to use. But look at it. You can hardly tell I used it on there um, because I've been uh, sandpapering it and polishing it. Um, and is it perfect? No but it's good enough and you can see a few deep gouges which i could get out i could get those out i could make that go away but it's good enough because most of this is going to live inside the bike the part to about right there you will never see so uh i have polished it and um you know i go all the way up to this is a six thousand or five thousand grit uh uh, 3,000, 2,000 and up and then I use polish on it to get it shiny. So if you look at it at a glance, you could, it's almost like I never did it. So, um, but yeah, this is reduced now. It'll go into my bike to about there. So it was a lot of work and I had to resort to using an incredible nasty rasp on this thing. So I will show you it on my bike when I get that done. So there it is, shiny, shiny. It's not completely shined up yet. I mean, I still have some more polishing to do on it, but it's pretty good. And you never knew I did that. And it didn't take off that much. I mean, look, look at how thick that is. I took off half of a millimeter, basically. 0.6 millimeters, if you wanna. Not much, just to get to fit. So there you go. So here we are. It's almost finished, but you can see the the neck, the goose neck, the stem, whatever you want to call it, in the bike. And that's roughly the height I will have it. Um, I live in Old Town, Manassas, so tonight is first Friday. So every we have live bands on the street just a couple blocks over, so you might hear that music in the background. It's a live band. Um, but what I wanted was that seat height, the, the, well, my bar height, the, the flats there, the, well, the top bar, to be as high or if not higher than the saddle height. So it's a tiny bit taller, not much. I can make it higher, but it gets a little wonky. So um, that's, it's complete, except I have a few more things to do. I've got to wrap the bars, I've got to put my, um, a little bracket I have on there for my, my bag. And I have to get another cable, because when I raised it up, I had to cut another um, brake cable housing, which is, this is even just a tiny bit too long, but then it makes the cable shorter, so it doesn't reach now, so I have to get another cable. So um, anyway, I could shorten this a tiny bit, and maybe, maybe about, um, I don't know, maybe shorten it about, half an inch, an inch, but um, yeah, um, you know, this is verging on too short, um, it'll work, 
Uh, so there it is, it's a wrap. And I'll zoom in here so you can see. I left a few marks on there, but it's minor and good enough for what I'm doing. So um, it fits, it's in there snug. And uh, I'm happy with it over now.